teaching English in Japan is very different to the image that I had in my mind before I came here. As a high school teacher in Australia, I was working really long hours, mostly getting up at 5 a.m. and working right through until 6 30, 7 at night. But my lifestyle here in Japan is actually very different. And it might have something to do with the fact that I'm living in the countryside, but I'm finding the pace of life is definitely a lot slower here. Today, I want to take you on just a regular day in my life and what it's like living in Japan and working as an English teacher. Unfortunately for me, yesterday I realized I had the start of an eye infection happening. So I'm going to take you on the journey into the doctor's office with me because a couple of people asked how the health insurance system works here. So I might go through that as well on my way to work. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Although I don't start work until 11 o'clock today, my habit of waking up early hasn't changed and I've woken up at 5.30 this morning. So I've got a few hours between now and when the doctor surgery opens and before I have to go to work. So I'm gonna do a few jobs this morning. I'm totally a creature of habit and I always have this same morning routine where I have a bit of vinegar to start my day and then I move on to my vegetable juice and then breakfast. Today my school will be supplying a bento box for myself and the students for a special class that we're running. So I'm just gonna have some toast for breakfast. And of course I'm Australian so I've gotta have my Vegemite. If you haven't tried Vegemite before, it's a very salty spread. It looks like chocolate, but don't be deceived. It's not sweet at all. A lot of people say it's an acquired taste. I'm the type of person that likes routine, but unfortunately my work schedule changes day to day. If I wasn't going to the doctor surgery this morning, I probably would have popped into Hoshino Coffee to grab myself a coffee and do a little bit of video editing before I started work. But that's not gonna be possible today, so I'm having a coffee at home. I'm also going through the comments as I usually do in the morning, and I thank you very much for everyone who gives me a comment or a like or a subscribe. So I do take my time every morning to respond to everybody. Thank you so much for your time as well. I am really glad I've bought this house here in Japan because it, it's been a good incentive for a lot of my friends and family to come and visit me because they have a place to stay. I did make a video on buying this house if you missed it. I'll put a link above because I know a lot of people are often interested in the purchase costs of the house. There's only a one hour time difference between where I am in Japan and my home back in Australia. Most mornings I call friends or family. Um, I always try and get hold of one of my sons to have a chat to them and just remain connected with the people back home. Finally, spring is here and the weather has really warmed up. So I have a little bit of time before I have to leave home. So I'm going to go on a quick walk around the area just to see what the farmers have planted. I'm trying to get some ideas of what to plant in my garden because all my winter crops have finished and I'm ready to plant something for the spring summer. I didn't get any ideas from my walk, so I'll have to keep my eye on that. So I'm headed off now and I'm taking the back roads to work. These roads are super narrow, but they go past the river and I can check out the cherry blossoms. They're in full bloom about a week ago. So I'm driving into town to the parking station and from there I'm going to walk to the doctor's surgery which happens to be right at the main station. You can't make a booking here, it's just first come first served. 
Hopefully I'm early enough so I don't have to wait long. I use the My Number card which keeps all my health records. So I pay 7,400 a month for the Kokumin Kenko Hoken, which is the National Health Insurance Scheme. Mine isn't sponsored by my company, so I pay it myself, and that means that I pay 30% out of pocket and 70% is covered with my health insurance. So for this appointment, it cost me 1,900 yen out of pocket and I now have to fill a script for some medicine. All up for the three medicines, it cost me 630 yen. Again, this is subsidized by your health insurance. So I have finished everything a lot earlier than I thought because I didn't have to wait at the doctor surgery. And I heard at the station that Daiso has opened a new shop called Standard Products. So it's like Daiso, just a little bit better quality. Also a lovely subscriber through my coffee link sent Millie some money and said I must buy Millie a toy. So I'm going to do that right now. Thank you very much, Rosemary, and I'm sure Millie is going to really appreciate it. We'll find out when I get home tonight. Well, I've enjoyed this shopping a little bit too much and I need to get a wriggle on because I've got to start work in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna rush back to the car now and drive to work. One of the bonuses of my workplace is that I have free parking and that's really convenient for me to be able to drive to work some days. Now the weather's warmed up, I also have the option of riding my bike. So my working hours start 30 minutes before my first class and that gives me about 30 minutes of prep time to get everything ready that I need for the day. On average I teach between four and five classes a day and today I have the full load of five classes. I'm the only native speaker at my school and there are two other English teachers who are Japanese. We're a tight-knit English department and we get on really well. The Australian Consulate has given me a great lesson plan today for our arts and crafts class. Today we'll be doing some Aboriginal art paintings in English. February, March, March April, April, May. Finished, okay, I'll come and get it. So today we had a typical Japanese chicken karage or bento for our lunch and then I hit straight back into teaching my other classes. The company I work for is a not-for-profit organisation and some of my classes are with students that have special needs. I have a 10 minute break in between classes but it's pretty much go 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 the whole time. I absolutely love being a teacher and I find it to be a very rewarding and satisfying career. But it is also very mentally and physically draining at times. So on a day like today when I've taught a full load, I need an easy go-to dinner, something that is gonna be quick and healthy. I've come up with this one bowl wonder dish, which I absolutely love, and it's just so easy. All I have to do is have some cooked rice ready to go in the fridge, and I buy some frozen karage chicken, and that's just microwavable and ready to go. I'm also loving Japanese pickles, so I always throw a couple of pickles in as well. The only thing I really need to do to prepare ahead is make sure I have cooked rice either in the fridge or the freezer ready to go. 
You could probably put anything in this bowl. I always eat in front of TV and at the moment I'm watching the best show on Netflix. It's called Extremely Inappropriate and it's hilarious. It's about a uh, it's about a single father who comes from the Showa era who time travels into 2024. It's absolutely fantastic. I really recommend you watch it. <laughs> If you can't watch Japanese Netflix, you might have to get a VPN to watch this one. So over the colder months, my nighttime routine has been to have a hot bath before bed. And I did bring a whole lot of sleep tea over with me from Australia. I'm sure you can buy it here, but I still have enough of a supply to keep me going. And I like to spend a bit of time with Millie about now because she has been home alone most of the day. So I can happily report back that she absolutely loves the new toy. Thank you very much again. She just, she's such a delight. So unlike my teaching job back in Australia, I don't have to do any marking, any reporting, and I don't have too much prep to do every day. So I don't take my work home with me of an evening. I just have time to relax. This has allowed me the space and time to foster things that I'm interested in. And one of the things has been to start this YouTube channel and to share with others what life is like for me uh, living here in Japan and then somehow help or inspire others who are looking to do the same thing. Thank you again for supporting the channel and if you have any questions or anything you'd like to know please let me know in the comments. See you next time. Bye.